Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing the second half of the case of 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. We've been pulling some really nice stuff out of here. So hopefully that trend will continue in this one. So as you remember from the previous break, I kind of marked these X's right here so you know they're from the second half of the case. A big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. And remember the combos, Cardinals, Nationals are comboed up, and Orioles and Cubs are comboed up. We're going to randomize each list six times, five and a one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Lee Keller down to Scott Smith. If you missed out on this break, um, I posted another two half-case breaks on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com, so you can check it out there. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four four, five, and a one, six times. We got the Dodgers, my Dodgers, down to the Reds. All right, so Lee Keller with my Los Angeles Dodgers, nice. Colin with the Mariners, Jason, you got the Cardinals Nationals combo, Anthony with the White Sox, Josh Proust with the Marlins. Uh, Blue Jays going to Lee Cheeseman, Lee Keller with the Red Sox, the Lees together. Alfonso with the Rangers, Lee C with the Braves, Mike Koontz with the Giants, Stevens, Moody, Moody got the Rockies, Peter Ang with the Rays, Anthony with the Angels, Ed with the Twins, Brian with the Indians, Joseph Johns with the A's, Bulldog fan with the Padres, Mike Koontz with the Mets, Lee Keller with the Tigers, Jason Ackerman with your last spot mojo, Philadelphia Phillies, DMAC. Pirates, Brian, Yankees, Jason Cox with the Royals, Joseph Johns with the Diamondbacks, Rich with the Astros, Moody with the Orioles-Cubs combo, Ed with the Brew Crew, and Scott Smith with the Red Legs. So let's alphabetize, and let's print. Padres or White Sox trade, Lee is asking. That's Lee Keller. Ackerman has the Phillies, Cardinals, and Nationals available. So he has all of his, all of his spots, all two of his spots available. We'll give it a few moments here. I think I have everything I need here, right? I should have enough top loaders and soft sleeves for this entire break. All right, I don't see any trade talk. I think we're gonna have to go. Lee is looking for the Angels. I don't know if I don't know if Anthony's in the room right now. White Sox. Well, that's Anthony again. Mets and Tigers. No, you have the Tigers. Padre Padres. That's it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to close it up. Trade window closed. TWC. Unless you want to make a deal for uh, Jason Ackerman's Phillies, Cardinals, or Nationals. Otherwise, the so I think you two are the only ones looking for... Oh, Mike Coots is here. He'll trade Mets. So that's Lee Keller. He has Tigers, Dodgers, and Red Sox. Oh, maybe there will be a trade. Look at that. Mets for Red Sox, maybe? Perhaps that seems to be the offer. How exciting! Usually, usually there aren't very many trades. So let's see what let's see what Regicidal. He'll say he says he'll do Mets for Dodgers or Tigers. That's the counter offer. Let's see what Mike Coon says about about that. Otherwise, we'll just go. While they're discussing 
Oh no, actually he'll do he'll do tigers. Lee, is that okay? Yeah, Lee is a big Lee is a big Mets guy, that's for sure. Arthur, you just want to hit? You got to be in the break to hit, Arthur. I don't see you in this one. Got to be in the break to hit, my friend. All right, so while, while Lee is thinking, let me start opening up the boxes at least. We'll hold off on the packs for a second. Remember, paper base doesn't ship, and we have the other half, uh, we have the other part of the break, sorry, another break in the store right now. All right, Mets Tiger is confirmed. All right, thanks. So let's flip back to this screen right here. So Tigers goes to Mike, Mets goes to Lee. All right, it is official now. It's on the list. It's official. Once it's in Sharpie, I mean, you can't really can't really change it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good luck everybody. Hopefully, um, well, hopefully that trade evens out. And Arthur, we do have another half case break in the store right now. Both halves of the case. So give it a shot. Try to try to finally get you a nice diamond back hit. Or if you get randomized diamond back. All right, so Lee is looking for a Mark Vientos. Don't be scared, Arthur. Scared money don't make money. That's what we say around here. It's true. All right, who else is in this break and what team do you have, ladies and gentlemen? This break will take about 35 minutes or so. And then after that, we'll figure out what we're gonna, uh, what break is filled up after that. If something hasn't filled up, then I can start working on the video for that uh, hockey promo. All right. Good luck, everyone. So obviously the. As you know, the paper does not ship. These guys will ship. This paper will not ship. So we'll breeze through those quickly. Paper, green paper will ship, of course. 91 out of 99, Angel Perdomo. For the Blue Jays, that'll be for Lee Cheeseman. There's the autograph. There's Bubba Thompson. That's the name of my dog. Nice. Good old Bubba. That'll go to the Texas Rangers. That'll be for Alfonso Bryan with that one. Who, this guy right here is a, is a short print? We've got purple chrome. Peyton Remy, out of 250, 188 out of 250. That is for the Cubbies. That's for Moody and the Orioles-Cubbies combo. And we got some paper right here for the Twins out of 499. That'll be for Ed Aarons and the Twins.
Kevin Newman. Dave Dunning is your blue. That is out of 200. These 70th anniversary ones are out of 200. White Sox, that'll go to uh, Anthony. This paperwork set up a little bit better here. And purple paper, Andy Abanez, 159 out of 250. Another Ranger for Alfonso. There's Tuki Toussaint. And the next auto is green chrome, Nick Prado. Uh, Alyssa, oh, Jason Cox was just saying, I have the Royals, but I don't know much about the 2017 draft class. It doesn't matter, really, as long as you hit something like this Nick. Nick Prado, 40 out of 99. He's your 14th overall pick for the Royals. He's from Huntington Beach, California, just about 30, 40 minutes south of us. Here you go. He notched his first pro hit in the Arizona League uh, last June. 2017 Baseball America, first team All-American. Homered seven times in just 92 at-bats for Huntington Beach High. Pure hitter with advanced approach and easy power. Utilizes opposite field liberally. Nimble defender around the first base bag and a strong armed former pitcher and helped lead a Cal oh, he's a USC guy. Helped lead California squad to 2011 Little League World Series title. Committed to University of Southern California. There you go. Sounds good to me. I think he may not have. Uh, did he go with USC or is he? Is he? Did he sign a pro contract? Did he? He's going to go to the majors or the minors. The pros, a professional contract, I guess. That I don't know. First baseman. There's Riley Mahan, 180 out of 399. Yeah, hey, knowledge is power. The more stuff you join, the more breaks you join where you have no knowledge of it, you can gain more knowledge. Um, this Bowman draft stuff is always really great because it's a it's a good way for you to familiarize yourself with the um, with the upcoming you know rookie class or the draft class you know so I always thought this was a a great set for everyone to learn things. Lu uh, Luis Campusano for the Padres, who's got the Friars Bulldog fan with the Friars. There you go, 39th overall pick, second rounder. Nice. Gabe, what's going on? How is uh, how is Seattle doing? I think you're in Seattle, right? Or unless you're back home. All right, next box. Still up there is a uh, is give give us a uh, Gabe. I want you to give us a report from the field. You're 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 our reporter in Seattle. Um, are they is is like sports talk radio up there? Like are are they melting down because they didn't get Otani? And they made all these moves. They they like moved three hot prospects for D Gordon and got a million dollars in uh, international pool, bonus pool money. And then Otani said nope and went to the Angels. <laughs> Is Seattle sad? I don't think the Dodgers are ever really significantly in on that.
But I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if, like, Seattle Sports Talk Radio is just, like, just, like, melting down. They're just like, no! Why? Why, Jerry Depoto? Gabriel thinks that uh, that the Mariners will probably go all in on Darvish now. That probably makes sense. Twin, twins could use some starting pitching. I heard they, they were going to try to go big on Otani or someone or some pitcher. Darvish could be good to head that rotation. Right there is fine. Thank you. Okay. You too. Well, now what are the Dodgers going to do? I, I didn't think the Dodgers were significantly in on Otani, but I wonder if um, if the Dodgers were never in on Otani from the get-go and are, were always more interested in getting Giancarlo Stanton. Well, but the good thing about the Otani deal being done, there's Cal Mitchell for the Pirates, is that now that's like the first domino in the hot stove. First domino on the hot stove. I'm not sure how that visually works, but that's the first domino on the hot stove has fallen. And now I'm sure GMs with the winter meetings coming up too, thinking like in two days, the hot stove will go from percolating to boiling. So now a lot of a lot more deals are gonna get cooked up on the hot stove, I think. So I'm looking forward to it. Because now that the Otani business is out of the way, and then one, and then especially once uh, there's Kyle Wright for the Braves, and then once Stanton is out of the way, and then all the dominoes should start falling from there. So I think we'll start to see a lot of deals, a lot of big deals start to go down. 137 out of 150, Braves, that goes to Lee Cheeseman. Yeah, I mean, I think Stan's really just trying to force his way onto the Dodgers, so hopefully... I mean, the Dodgers don't have to rush into this deal. There's, They don't have to. I think they're just biding their time until they get the right moment and until the Marlins kind of get desperate. 403 out of 499, J.J. Matijevic. It's a paper parallel for the Astros. That'll go to Rich. Yeah, and then the Arietta domino will fall, and then the Darvish domino, and and I wonder if the Orioles will start thinking about making some moves. Hey, this card is gold. Bobby Dalbeck, 35 out of 50. That goes to the Red Sox. That goes to Lee. Nice. Drew Ellis, and Ryan Villati for the Rockies. Colorado Rockies, Moody with the Rocks. Nice, 48th overall pick. It's all paper, it does not ship. Oh, J.D. Martinez, too. That's another big free agent. I feel like the, I feel like the Giants, right? Or the, or the Cardinals may go for J.D. Martinez big time. There's Kevin Smith for the Blue Jays. Three thirteen out of four ninety nine, refractor auto. Lee says after Stan signs, JD will. I think that makes sense. 
And then the Giants or Cardinals will get J.D. Martinez because they won't be in on. So what do you think Stan goes? Do you think Stan ends up with the Dodgers, Lee? I think that either happens or Stanton just stays on the Marlins for like another season. Yeah, I didn't think the Angels would land Otani either, but I was hearing some stuff today on the radio, on local sports radio, at a 150, uh, Chris Oakey for the Red Legs, that, um, that the uh, Angels GM, that the Angels GM, I think Billy Epler, I think, um, has had a relationship with, uh, with, with, with Otani for a long time. I think they, they've been kind of talking to him since he was in, in high school when he was a lot younger. So I think he's been kind of keeping tabs on him. And they really had that. And I think that relationship is one that ended up paying off. Ernie Clement out of 399 for the Indians. I think that was a big part of it from what I, from what I heard at least anecdotally. But hey, great job for the Angels. Brennan Little at a 150 blue paper for the Cubs. Moody with that one. Yeah, that's what Lee's confirming that too. Yeah, Epler, the GM, has been tracking for years since high school. I think Epler developed a, a, a working relationship with... Um, with Otani's high school coach. And high school baseball is huge in Japan. Like, legends are made in, like, Japan if you're a, uh, if you're a high school star, baseball star. It's like, uh, it's like, I guess, Little League World Series for us. You know, where, like, where, like these young kids can be, become legends. But, um, but, yeah, I guess Epler has just been, over the years, yeah, when, Especially when they when they were people were trying to sign him years ago, I think is originally when guys like Epler may have had that relationship, and then kind of kept kept tabs on it. And I guess it it definitely paid off. Yeah, I thought it would be the Mariners. Um, I thought it'd be the Mariners or the Padres actually. Because the Padres had a lot of relationships with uh, Otani's now former team, including like one of one of uh, one of the Nippon Fighters um, trainers. Now I think works in San Diego now, and so they've got a lot of Japan connections in San Diego. So I thought that was going to be a place where they go, but or the Mariners. But in the end. The Angels with uh, with the coup, if you will. So that'll be interesting to see, because you know the Angels weren't actually, if you think about it, the Angels weren't that bad last season. They almost snuck into a playoff spot last year. So maybe they're not, they, maybe they're thinking, hey, we're not as far away as we think to get to where we want to be. Pitching is kind of a big issue for them, which Otani can solve. And if they get a healthy, uh, who was it, Garrett Richards, I think, who was kind of on and off, or who was back from injury but then got injured and then just never came back last season. But if he's healthy, he could be a real big help for them. So then all of a sudden, the Angels are looking pretty, uh, pretty decent. Um, Brian's asking if the, well no the paper really doesn't have a lot of value that's why we don't we don't end up shipping it I think there are some people who are like oh they would want the paper to kind of build this build sets or collect set and whatnot but generally speaking no most people just want the chrome cards and these numbered cards right here at a three nine and there's just so much of that paper it's hard to really have any kind of value right there um, that's J B Bukowskis. That'll be for the Astros. That goes to Rich. And 
there's our first auto out of this box. Casey Clemens. I feel like I've heard of Casey Clemens. That goes to the Blue Jays, Lee Cheeseman. With that, what's the parallel on this? Looks like it's out of 75. There you go. It's our first auto out of this box. Looking for two more. Yeah, I like those black refractors. That looks pretty cool. Troy Bacon. Mmm, bacon. Out of 499. 70 out of 499. That paper we do ship, of course, because it's serial numbered. I can't wait until AJ Puckett makes it to the league. Nah, Puckett. Headlines. AJ says Puckett. And we've got a blue Ronald Acuna out of 200. It's 45 out of 200. Yeah, the black is out of 75. That'll go to the Braves. That'll go to Lee Cheeseman. Dylan Tate, I feel like, is an interesting, is an interesting character. He was drafted fourth overall by the Rangers in 2015 out of Santa Barbara. But, but they traded him like a year or so after after he was drafted. So to trade a, a pitcher, especially out of college, that, I don't know, they Rangers kind of gave up on him sort of early. So that's weird. We'll see how he does. Nate Pearson, nice. Blue Jays having a break. Class of 2017. It's another one for Lee Cheeseman. Love these insert autos. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Sometimes these insert autos, and that's 19 out of 50. Sometimes this means we have a bonus auto in here somewhere. Let's keep track of that. I know, I <laughs> said Lee Keller saying, that's the wrong Lee. He needs to hear, hear Lee Keller more than Lee Cheeseman. He needs. Maybe this one? Ah, Dylan Tate's ears were burning. He heard us talking about him. 23 out of 50. There he is. Not sure what, what he's all about, but I think he struggled in the early, in his early minor league deal seasons there. And I think the Rangers said, ah, forget it. We're moving on. But maybe the Rangers' loss will be the Yankees' gain. We'll see how that plays out. That's what's fun about these Bowman draft products. There's so much prospecting and speculating you can do on all these players. Just a bunch of paper right here. Bo Bichette, wow, another Blue Jay. That's Dante's kid. Purple paper. Out of 250, another one for Lee Cheeseman. Gavin Sheets. Uh, ben Sheets' kid? No? You guys remember Ben Sheets? Uh, that goes to Anthony and the White Sox. I know we have a lot of people up in the... Wisconsin area who may remember Ben Sheets. There you go, 49th overall. Ah, son of former major leaguer Larry Sheets, not Ben Sheets. Larry Sheets. All right, so that's three. Do we get a bonus auto? Let's see. Maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Jemai Jones, 244 out of 250 for the Angels. Anthony with the Halos. No, no bonus auto, I'm afraid.
All right, last box of this half case break. So this is break number six. So break number seven is already in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com, and that will be from a fresh case. So check it out. We can talk baseball. We can learn about prospects that are coming up. It's a lot of fun, and it's only 20 bucks a spot. 20 bucks a spot in a half case break, 28 spots total. Not too shabby at all. Always a popular product from year to year. Always a good prospecting product. You kind of get these autographs. And especially for the ones that aren't necessarily the top guys, you just throw it in a, in a shoe box, throw it in a drawer, wait a couple years and see if they turn into anything. <laughs> Alright, good luck everybody. Final box of this four box break. We made pretty good time on this. Yeah, usually these are about 35, 40 minute breaks. Alright, good luck. AJ Puck, purple paper, nice. Sixth overall pick in 2016 out of 250 for the Oakland A's. That'll go to Joseph Johns. Quinn, uh, Quinn Brody, 330 out of 399. For the Mets, that'll go to Lee and his Mets. Nothing too significant in the trade, one way or the other. We'll see how that turns out by the end of this break. We got Blaine Enlow for the Twins. That'll be for Ed and the Twins. Third rounder. Twins definitely need the pitching. Uh, Eloy Jimenez out of 499. Wait, wasn't he on the. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was traded for Quin the Quintana deal, I think. I was like, wait a second, isn't he a Cub? Well, there he is in his uh, White Sox gear. Was he one of the bigger names in that deal? I feel I feel like he was. I mean, outside of Quintana. Uh, Colby Allard out of 150 for the Braves. That'll be for Lee Cheeseman. There's Jordan's brother, Justice Sheffield. There's the number one overall, Royce Lewis. And more paper. And is that gold, Nick Senzel? Or am I just psyching myself out? No, it is gold, 48 out of 50, definitive moments. No ink, but nice parallel. On that, for the red legs, Scott Smith. And the autograph is another Nick Prado. For Jason Cox, 
and the Royals. He had that green one earlier, which he said he looked up and was going for about, what, 50, 60 bucks? Well, here's another one for you, too. 14th overall pick. And the last stack. Good luck, everybody. Some orange. Taylor Ward is your orange paper out of 25. 18 out of 25 for Anthony and the Angels. Nice. Angels looking good today by landing Otani. Looking good in this break. Blue Wave for the Padres. Bulldog fan with another Luis Campusano. This time, Blue Wave. And that's out of 150. 42 out of 150. Nice. That's your third autograph. Now, unless there's a bonus auto, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So big thanks for joining us in this break. This is a random team break number six. We've got another half case break in the store. Two half case breaks in the store, both from the same case. Looks like we've got a parallel coming up. And it's no ink, but it's Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals out of 25. So a couple 25s at the end. Cardinals, Nationals combo, Jason Ackerman. Pretty nice for the late first round pick, 33rd overall. That is strong. And there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for joining our Bowman Draft Break. We've got plenty. So keep going to jazbeeshobbyland.com. Keep getting into the breaks. And we'll, uh, we'll keep mining for gold for more prospects. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.